My name is Bumi Adu, and I'm here to testify to the goodness of God. I got married in 2014, and since then I've struggled with infertility. Um, I had multiple uterine fibroids, I had cervical stenosis, and I had blocked fallopian tubes. So I was a ripe candidate for IVF. And we did four IVF cycles and they all failed. So we kept trying, but nothing was happening until June last year when my doctor called me and said the solution to the problem would be to take out the fallopian tubes entirely. And that provoked my spirit. And I changed my prayers to God to, from praying about the process to just praying for results. To the glory of God, by August last year, I was pregnant. Ten weeks after the pregnancy, or ten weeks into the pregnancy, the doctor called me and told me that the viability of the pregnancy was low because the, the baby was surrounded by fibroids. And I just instantly said, you know, it looks like how the mountains surround Jerusalem. Unknown to me, I was protecting the child with the fibroids. And two weeks after then, I started bleeding. And I bled throughout the pregnancy from 12 weeks to the day I put to bed, basically. Um, shortly before I traveled, my doctor called me again. And he said to me that because of the complications of the pregnancy, I had something called placenta previa. I also had an eight centimeter fibroid sitting right on top of my cervix that I would not be able to have a normal delivery. I could only deliver the baby through a CS. However, the thing will be so complicated that the right process would be to do a hysterectomy, meaning they will take out the entire womb in order to save my life or to save the life of the baby. And that troubled my spirit again. So I spoke to Pastor God's time who asked me to come to the Open Heaven House in camp to pray, for us to pray together. When, when I came to the Open Heaven House, I knew that God had answered my prayers. But as we drove out of camp, the fear came back, and I kept wondering who would survive. Is it me or the baby, or how is it going to happen? And just then, I prayed to God that God should give me an evidence of... He should give me evidence that he had answered my prayers. Shortly after then, Pastor God's time called me back, and he said that, that the GO will give me a call. And I knew instantly that that was the evidence that I was looking for. When Daddy Gio called me that night, he told me that the resurrection power of Jesus would flow through me and that it would correct everything that was abnormal in my body. And that, in fact, I would not even have a CS, that I would have such a normal delivery that it would surprise the doctors. I got to the US and it took the fifth scan for everything to correct. In fact, the doctor was shocked that all these other scan results could not have been for this particular pregnancy. The day I had my baby, it was so easy. It took, it took about seven minutes to push. And to the glory of God, I'm alive. My husband is alive. My baby is alive. We are all well. Hallelujah. 